वेस्ट वाटर स्टोरी वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विद द टॉपिक ऑन द वेस्ट वाटर स्टोरी विल डिस्कस क्लीनिंग ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर Cleaning of wastewater is a process of removing pollutants before it enters a water body. This process is also known as sewage treatment. Because actually wastewater mainly contains the sewage. in home or public buildings generally one set of pipe bring clean water and another set of pipe takes away waste water there is an underground network of big and small pipes called sewers forming the sewerage it is like a transport system that carries sewage from the point of being produced to the point of disposal at every 50 to 60 meters in the sewage main holes are located at the junction of two or more sewers and at point where there is a change in direction now we'll discuss how water is treated how it can be purified this treatment of waste water involves physical chemical and biological processes which remove physical chemical and biological matter that contaminate the waste water for this purpose waste water treatment plant is established first of all waste water is passed through bar screens here large objects like sticks cans plastic packets napkins are removed now water is free from these big large objects then this water goes to grid and sand removal tank here speed of incoming water is decreased so that sand grit and pebbles can settle down now water is free from sand grit and pebbles then this water is allowed to settle in large tank which is sloped towards middle now as this large tank is sloped towards middle 
so solid impurities like fecus settles at the bottom and uh, it is removed with the help of scraper now this removed impurity is known as sludge this is sludge it contains fecus still some impurities like oil and grease are floating on the surface of water these are removed with the help of skimmer now the obtained water is free from many impurities it is known as clarified obtained water is clarified water the sludge which was separated before is transferred to separate tank where it is decomposed by anaerobic bacteria due to decomposition biogas is produced in this process which can be used as fuel now some air is pumped into the clarified water to help aerobic bacteria to grow now grown bacteria consume human waste food waste soap and other unwanted matter which are still present in clarified water after several hours the suspended microbes settle at the bottom of the tank as activated sludge the water is then removed from the top the activated sludge is about 97% water the water is removed by sand drying beds or machines dried sludge is used as manure returning organic matter and nutrients to the soil the treated water has a very low level of organic matter and suspended matter then uh, it is discharged into sea river or into the ground and it will be further cleaned up by nature sometimes it may be necessary to disinfect water for the uh, for this purpose disinfectant like chlorine ozone are mixed into the water before releasing it into the distribution system now our better habits can also prevent water to get infected or we can prevent it by becoming dirty by some good habits these are better housekeeping practices as we know waste generation is a natural part of human activity but we can limit the type of waste and quantity of waste produced my like cooking oil and fats should not be thrown down the drain these fats and oils can harden and block the pipes in fact in an open drain the fat clogs the soil pores reducing its effectiveness in filtering water the better practice would be throw oil and fats in the dustbin chemicals like paints solvents insecticides to kill insect motor oil chemicals like paints solvents insecticides to kill insects motor oil medicines they may kill microorganisms that help 
to purify water. So these should not be thrown down in the drain. Other things as well like used tea leaves, solid food remains, soft toys, cotton, sanitary towels. These should also be thrown in dustbin. If they are thrown in drains, they would chop them. There won't be free flow of oxygen. This hamper the degradation process. Cleaning habits uh, which can improve the health, sanitation and uh, diseases which are caused if sanitation is not done. Poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water is a cause of large number of diseases. A very large fraction of our population it defecates in open on dry riverbeds, on railway tracks, near fields, and many a time directly in water. Untreated human excreta is a health hazard, it may cause water pollution and soil pollution. Both the surface water and groundwater get polluted. Groundwater is source of water for wells, tube wells, springs, and many rivers. It becomes most common route for waterborne diseases, diseases like cholera, typhoid, polio, meningitis, hepatitis, and dysentery. Now we can have alternative arrangement for sewage disposal. To improve sanitation, low cost on site sewage disposal systems are being encouraged. For example, septic tanks, chemical toilets, combusting pits, etc. are used. These uh, reduce the spread of uh, untreated human excreta and reduce the pollution of water. Septic tanks are suitable for places where there is no sewerage system. Places uh, where septic tanks are good are uh, hospitals. Isolated buildings, etc. Now, the excreta collected in these uh, uh, septic tanks it can be flowed through covered drains into a biogas plant, and biogas produced here is used as a source of energy. Sanitation at public place is also very important. In our country, fairs are organized periodically, a large number of people participate in them. Similarly, railway stations, bus depot, 
airports hospitals are also very busy places thousands of people visit them daily here large amount of waste is generated if it is not disposed of properly epidemic may break out so here litter should be should not be scattered anywhere it should be thrown into the dustbin vermi processing toilets these are also known as green toilets it is a toilet in which human excreta is treated by earthworms earthworm completely convert them into vermi cakes which are source for uh, soil it is very good as a nutrient now some important information World Water Day it is celebrated on 22nd March every year The period 2005 to 2015 has been proclaimed as the international decade for action on water for life by General Assembly of United Nations biological oxygen demand bod it is a measure of oxygen utilized by microorganism during oxidation of organic materials chemical oxygen demand cod it is an index of the waste it may be organic or inorganic present in water which can be oxidized by strong oxidizing agents eutrophication the excessive growth of algae and aquatic plants due to added nutrients is called eutrophication the excessive growth of algae and aquatic plants due to added nutrients is called eutrophication <laughs> 